am I? In hell. What's up YouTube, Odin here, bringing you my first impression of Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this is the 8th game in the series now guys, so you know, this game is, this series has been going for quite a while. Um, as it's the first proper next generation game we've got, so it's only available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and of course PC, which I obviously got it on the PC, just because I've PC and I think it's the best one. That's just my personal opinion guys. Um, so far I've not played a great deal of it, I've only played a couple of hours, but I'm really enjoying it. I know they've taken out a lot of the features that some people are quite annoyed about. Um, there's no getting on horses to travel anywhere, and obviously there's no sea anywhere, because you're set, set in Paris, so you know, you're in France, so you can't, obviously there's nothing, none of that. So there's, no, the, there's not that kind of open worldness to what there was in Black Flag. But saying that, um, I actually really enjoy it still. I mean, there's quite a few different side missions in it. They've kind of gone down the route of like the Batman games where you can solve people's murders. Um, one of the quests I did today was I actually had to find the heads that Madame Two Sword had made, like the wax heads, because they've been stolen. Um, and if she didn't get them back, she was going to go to prison. So that was quite cool. The other kind of feature they've taken out is the the, the obviously present day or future in their case. Um, there is like, like a tie-in, but it's not like you did in Black Flag where you're working at Extergo Games and you can walk around and you know, progress the story that way. There's none of that. It's literally you playing Arno in you know the century that you're in in the game. I don't exactly remember the, the date. I do apologise, but um, I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, some people didn't like it. I, I don't really mind. It's kind of nice just to stay with the action of it. The the new um, the new parkour feature where you can actually jump up and jump down now. Obviously you could always jump up before, but you can actually jump down so it feels more fluid. It's a bit hit and miss. It, when it works, it works really well, but when, when it doesn't work, it can be a bit fiddly and sometimes Arno will jump on something that you don't want him to jump on. And yeah, I'd like it's the same kind of thing with all the Assassin's Creed games. Um that you know, you literally yeah, sometimes you will just he will just jump on something you just don't want him to do and it, it kind of breaks that free flow kind of movement. But I mean it's something I thought they would have dealt with by this one, but unfortunately they haven't. But you know, that's not too bad. I mean I've loved all the Assassin's Creed games bar the first one. I actually couldn't stand the first one. I found it so repetitive and boring. But obviously when they brought out Assassin's Creed 2, I was hooked and I've played every single one and I've completed every single one. So, I mean, I might be a bit of an Assassin's Creed fab boy. You know, a lot of people say it's very repetitive. But I just really enjoy it. I really enjoy the storyline. I really enjoy the gameplay. The fact that they've added more missions in. You can do more. I mean, there's lots more stuff. Obviously, co-op now is a big thing in this one where you can get people jumping into your game. Um, and they, obviously you can jump into other people's game, you can complete card missions together, that's kind of cool. Uh, none of my friends have get it, got it, so I'm not really going to do that, because, you, you know, doing it random people, you can't really communicate, so, uh, yeah, something I won't be doing. But it's cool that they've added it in, you know, and if my friends do eventually get it, which I doubt, but if they did, I'll definitely, you know, do that with them. Um, what, any other features that I can talk about? Um, Eagle Vision's obviously still in it, except for it's got a cooldown timer this time. You can change your gear on the fly this time so that's quite cool you can change what you look like like the color and scheme you don't have to go to a shop to do that uh, you can still loot bodies and you can still pickpocket and steal which is obviously quite cool as well and you had this kind of weird um, system where you you can buy like um, like power-ups basically um, I've bought one so that I'm um, stealthier for like three more for three minutes and you can use it and it's got like a cooldown so that's kind of cool and then you've obviously got the normal thing where you can upgrade your health, uh, armour and stuff like that. Um, Arno as a character I think is really good. Uh, I like his voice. The only thing that's a bit odd is it's obviously set in France but everybody speaks really good English. So that's quite, you know, they do speak French every now and then but mostly. I understand it's got to be done for the whole of, you know, for, you know, for everywhere. So English obviously... For, for most places, you know, obviously for here, America and everything like that is what they do. But, they, you know, you thought they would have speak, spoke with a French accent at least. You know, at least when you had Ezio Auditore, he did have an Italian accent. But Arno just kind of sounds like a typical British British man. But, you know, that's that's not you know really that much to gripe about. But, guys, I'll leave you to watch the rest of it. It's only got about two more minutes to run. Um, I didn't want to put any spoilers in, so it's just some random footage that I recorded in 
put it all together. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first impression. I think it's going to be a really good game. I will do a, an actual um, review of this one once I've played a lot more of it. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.